<laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Wonderbread. I got a gameplay here for you. And the gameplay, guess what it is? It's a domination on Nuketown. Yes, guys, Nuketown, I'm sorry about that. But, you know, you're going to have to live with it because the end of this score is epic. And it's way back from a while back when, um, when, new when I used to like Nuketown. Um, this is about, I think it's my first or second prestige. Um, I'm rocking a, a jammer for my equipment. I've got flashbangs on, I've got frags on. My perks, I'm rocking hardline pro, I got slide of hand pro, I got hacker, because I was trying to get hacker pro, and that's why I was using jammer also. And then my kill streaks are uh, RCD, uh, RCXD, I mean, um, care package, and uh, what's the last one? The last one is the, what's the chopper gunner? Last one's the chopper gunner. Um, this gameplay is really, really good, and I'm trying to play the objective, and I just want to say, spoiler alert, I lose the game, but it's not my fault, because these retards on my team, if they would have not been such kill savvy and actually played the objective, we would have won. I was playing the objective by being, being the slayer. I was taking out everybody, guys. Everybody. I, this is, this is... Uh, the best game probably I've had to date and it's definitely definitely one of the best games that I've seen personally for myself because I mean first of all it's me so I guess I'm kind of biased but it's just a great 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 play um, so hope you guys enjoy and then also but this one's not about I'm not going not gonna really talk to you guys about the the gameplay in this and the rest of this commentary I'm gonna talk to you guys about lucid motherfucking dreaming yeah, lucid dreaming, alright guys? So it's gonna be pretty, pretty dope. Alright, take take it away, Wonder Bread. But actually, what I wanna talk about, um, it's, guys, I've been, it's a thing I've been wanting to talk about, but I haven't had the grasp. Oops, I hit the mic. Ha, <laughs> so I'm so excited. I haven't had the grasp or the knowledge yet. Or I had it. I didn't, I haven't done it enough for me to for call myself a, 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 a usual. Um, okay. If you guys are thinking, what are you talking about, one friend? What I'm talking about is I'm talking about uh, lucid dreaming. Now, let that wish wash in your brain for a second. Have you heard of it? If you've heard of it, great. If you haven't heard of it, let me tell you what it is. It's when you dream and you consciously realize that you're dreaming and you control yourself doing example. Um, you're running down the street. Or you're walking down the street and then you think and you realize for whatever reason you either trained yourself or you uh, just subconsciously realize oh I'm dreaming and you do something like say for example you're running down you're walking down the street and then you start like you you should go oh I'm lucid I'm lucid dreaming and then you start booking it like you could start running you could do whatever you want because it's a dream there's no bounds in your dream it's a not real it's just a fake space that I mean it's uh, sky's the limit you guys know that uh, song by Wayne. I like that song a lot. Um, but I, I, I lucid dream about, lucid dreamt about five or six times now, over, over a, a few months. And I haven't tried every night. But you have to get the, the key of what I found is you have to get at least six hours of sleep. And there's different ways of doing it. I'm sure you guys should research it. There's, I mean, there's research all over the place for it. But I, I mean, I, I gotta tell you guys this quick because this video is not that long. And I gotta, you know, I gotta tell you guys my, the one that recently just happened to me. The first one I've ever had, the first one I had, what did I, okay, the first one I had, I was walking down there's a street, um, I'm walking down my street, uh, where my house is, and I, for whatever reason, I've been trying and trying and trying to lucid dream, and I, I, I in my head, I, I think, oh, dang, I, I'm lucid dreaming, I know. So then, um, I'm, uh, walking down my street, and I'm like, dang, I'm lucid dreaming, and I'm standing there. And then I'm looking and I'm like, I can create whatever I want because my neighbor, he lucid dreams, lucid dreams all the time. He used to do it. He did it way before me. He got me into it. And he started telling me about it and how to do it. So then I was, he told me that, that he like, you could do whatever you want. You could create, just like out of thin air, you could create a hot girl. You could create a freaking, whatever is on your head, you can make it. So then this one, the first one I ever had, I was standing there walking on the street. I was standing, I was standing there. I was walking up my street and um, I'm th I thought, oh, I'm, I'm dreaming. I'm, I'm freaking lucid dreaming right now. And then I, I go, mm, I, like, I look at this one spot and I'm like, oh, I got to create a hot girl. And I'm trying to think. I'm like, create a hot girl, create a hot girl. And then nothing happened. And I was just like, wow, this is so whack. And then I just like, I'm like, I'm out of here. 
And then right when I said that, I just like, whoop, and like I was back, I, I woke up. The second time I did it, after this, I had a little bit, not more practice, but I had a little bit more like information. I started reading and I was listening, to, like there's some MP3s you could listen to before you go to bed and um, to help you lucid dream, to help it get flowing in the brain. And so this is what I did. Okay, I was playing, have, have you, I don't know if you guys have heard the game uh, Infamous. I'm sure you have. Um, well, in Infamous, the guy Cole has powers, superhero powers, not superhero powers, but he has superpowers, and one of and his powers are electricity. Well, I had I had recently been playing that game when it, before I was um, when I was dreaming, and uh, or not when I was dreaming, but I've been playing this game, and then I I one night I dreamt, and I dreamt, and I was getting chased by these cops, and I was thinking, you know, what the heck, man, I'm getting chased by these cops, and I was like, I'm, I'm lucid dreaming, and then I was like, oh dang, I am. So then um, I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm trying to um, run away from the cops and I, I lift up my arm like sort of like I, I put it straight out. I, you guys can't see this but I'm doing this um, right now but I put my arm straight out and I lifted it up like uh, I don't know like I would like I'm summoning something. Well I summoned um, freaking electricity to come down from the sky. No, no joke. This is what happened. I, I lifted my arm up and electricity just bolted down in, into this car. And it, it, the freaking cop car just exploded, and I was like, oh my gosh. And I kept doing it everywhere, and I was just like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And I was like, gluing my hands everywhere, and there was electricity coming up everywhere, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. So then, um, and so I got in this ambulance, and I was driving, and I'm driving up a hill. It's like, I don't know, it's just like switch scenes in my brain. My brain just switches scenes for whatever reason, but it's switch scenes. I'm still driving away from the cops. I'm in this, I'm in this uh, ambulance. I'm driving up a hill, and my friend told me I could, you could do, like, say things like increase sensitivity, increase lag, increase stuff like that. When I didn't, I was like, I got it. I was like, all right, increase sensitivity, and I just thought it in my brain, and it happened. And everything just felt like, like, um, have you, have you guys ever seen Too Fast, Too Furious? If you have, um, you know when they put on the NOS, and, like, everything just starts getting blurry and colors to get so vibrant well that's what happened I, everything just started getting so vibrant my everything was just insane and I mean it was just like oh my my my, my brain was overwhelmed it was insane and then I woke up and I was like no it sucked but it was it was pretty crazy it was a great story to tell um one I recently had um I had two uh last night not last night but two nights ago I had I had one and one I had another night, I had one two night, three nights ago, and then I had another one two nights ago, and I didn't have one last night, which was unfortunate, but um, I was on a roll, and um, the first one I had three nights ago, it was pretty crazy, I was like, um, I was in this field with, I was a soldier, and uh, my other friend soldier got shot, and so we got him underneath like this little uh, sewer, and we're like trying to assess him, like I'm with these other crew, like this crew of guys, and we're trying to assess him, we're soldiers, we're all dressed up and crap, and I I'm watching, and I'm like, dude, oh, this guy, he's so hurt, like, this is my homie, we're friends, like, we're, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're army brothers together, and, um, we're in this foreign place, and it's pitch black, and we got him down the sewer, he's hurt, and we're like, dang, and I was like, I'm, I'm dreaming, I know I'm dreaming, and I was like, alright, I'm dreaming, and then I realized it, and I just, like, looked up, and I looked over, and the guy that was next to me, my, my partner, um, my partner in crime was actually my neighbor in real life, and I was like, oh, dang, dude, like, oh, this is cool, so then I was going, and I was, I was trying to, there was these guys, and they were looking for me, and these guys, like, they were at towers, and they were, they had snipers up there, they had the spotlight going, you know, and it was pitch black, and I was going, and then there was these guys on horses, too, and these guys on horses were walk, not the, the guys that are, there's, okay, you ever seen, like, those guys that are, in, like, in, at London, and they've got, like, those red jackets on, and then got, like, the top hat that's, like, black, and looks like a, a, a like, a speaker that, that camera people use? Well, anyways, those guys were riding on horses, and they had flashlights, and they were looking for me. And I was hiding around the other side while I was wearing, like, this all black. And I went by myself, and I was just booking it, and I was running. And then I went inside this house, and I turned around, and because I, I hear footsteps, I turn around, and I get shot. And I get shot three times right in my chest, right in my left side of my chest, where, right, like, right where my heart was. But I think it was above because I didn't die, you know. But um, I got shot, and I was just like, boom, 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 boom. And I was like, oh. I was like, dude, where the heck did that guy come from? Like, in my brain, I was thinking, you know, where did that guy come from? I never even saw him. So then somehow, I don't, I have no idea how I did it, but I, I, I was just like, I gotta look at that again. And everything just started rewinding. Like, my dream just started rewinding. This was the craziest experience. My dream, oh, I'm already over time, whatever, I gotta keep saying this, but my dream was, was rewinding. And, um, my dream was rewinding and the bullets as I'm looking down the bullets are coming out of me and you know what it felt I, when I got shot you know what it felt like it felt like um 
You know when like something bad happens or like say uh like a near death experience and your heart just feels like it drops in your stomach. That's what it felt like when I got shot and I got shot three times and then when I was rewinding and like the bullets were coming out of my chest and I could feel them and they were just like being sucked out of my chest one by one and like going back in this guy's gun it was like this fat guy in a white a white lab coat and I was just like oh and then like they're pulling him out and like each one of them was like oh my gosh this is insane and then like and then I let it go again and then um and then he shot me and then I was just like oh crap and like I rolled away I didn't I for it is I wasn't dead but I rolled away and I started running and I was running and then those guys that on the um on the, uh, on the on the horses I told you guys about before, the guys on the horses had flashlights, and I was like ducking and dodging in between the flashlights. Well, these frecker, one of the guys, he looked at me and he put it on me. He put the flashlight on me, and then I looked up and I was just like, oh crap, like a deer in the headlights. I was just like looking, and I was like, frick, he found me. So then I I, uh, I go and uh, and then um oh right right sorry guys I'm, my brain is like going crazy because this was so fun. Um, I, right when that happened. I, uh, my deer in the headlights look and I was just like oh crap they saw me and he pulls his gun and right right before he's about to, the guys are about to shoot me they pull out their M1 grands and right before about their they're right before they're gonna shoot me my friend texts me on my phone he sends me a text and that crap wakes me up in real life so it takes me out of the dream world and I was just like oh but anyways guys um it was, that was a cool uh, lucid dreaming um experience I had um if you guys want more leave a comment uh, if you guys want to see more of my videos subscribe uh, if, if this if this made you want, want a lucid dream give a like give me a comment tell you guys what you guys want a lucid dream about if you guys want uh, more lucid dreaming videos tell me um, I, I'm gonna make another one right after this one because I got to tell you guys the one I, that just happened to me so I'll put an annotation for that one when I make the other one and all that crap um, alright guys till next time